Hey everybody, this is Tara from paddedtwistats.com. In this review, I'm going to be talking about the Soft Bums Omni Diaper. This is an all-in-two and a pocket diaper in one. And for this diaper, we sent out our surveys as we usually do and received 48 survey responses. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the features of this diaper and talk with you about comments that the users made about it. Let's look at the basic features of this diaper. You'll see that the outside is made out of a waterproof PUL, so there's no extra cover necessary. It has the Velcro closures, just like this. And this is meant to fit a really small baby, so there is even an overlap Velcro, so that what I can do is put this Velcro over and overlap that one, just like that. You also have the laundry tabs, and these are so great because then your, your Velcro isn't snagging on the other diapers in the wash or it's not snagging to the inside of the diaper. So this is an all-in-two system. What that means is that you can take your insert, snap it into the back of the diaper, and then you're just going to switch it out and use it as each insert gets used. If this gets used and there's nothing icky on the cover, then what you can do is put that one away to be washed and then put a brand new insert into the diaper, just like that. The diaper is also a pocket diaper, and this is kind of neat so that you have that choice. So there's a little opening in the back of the diaper, and you can stuff in however much absorbency that you like. I really liked this because I like to stuff it with my Flip Organic insert, which I find to be the perfect absorbency for my daughter at nap time. So I had the option that when she's napping, I could stuff it, but then that I could also do the all-in-two for times when she's using the diaper and she's not napping. Obviously, if you use it as a pocket diaper, you can't reuse it because it'll be soiled on the top, so you would just have to wash it. So let me tell you a little bit about this slide-to-size adjustment system. This is how Softbum makes it to where you don't have that cluttery front of the diaper with lots of snaps that a lot of people don't like. Instead, there's the elastic on the inside of the diaper. There's this little pocket opening to where we can get to that elastic. And inside here on each side of the legs is this little toggle. And how this toggle works is you pinch it just like the toggles on a sweatshirt to loosen it or to tighten it. And it adjusts just like that on each side. So, um, one of the things that survey respondents said about this diaper was that if they were using it for two children, it was difficult to adjust between the kids. And I have this problem as well because you'd have to get this just right. Um, and snap down rises are far more easy for that because you just snap it differently. But I talked with soft bums and they gave me a great tip on how to, to, to do it just a little bit differently. And how you do it is if you're wanting to loosen the diaper elastic, you pinch the toggle just from the outside. You could do this as you're putting the baby's diaper on and just loosen it up just like that. If you want to tighten it, you could just pinch it, reach down here to get the elastic and tighten it up. So you can do it from the outside and then just tuck the elastic right back into the diaper. So that's a much easier way to do these sizing adjustments. Other survey respondents have color coded the diaper, so they would put like red mark for baby number one, black mark for baby number two, and they know that's where they would wanna go. If you're having leak issues or red mark issues, a lot of survey respondents said to just keep fiddling with the sizing, and I had the same issue. I had a lot of leaks with it, and I just kept adjusting the sizing until finally I got a great fit. And at that point, that fit lasted for a long time on my baby. So I highly recommend adjusting it a little bit. And if you still have trouble, contact the company because they can also help you with the leak issues. A question that I hear a lot is, what's the difference between the Echo and the Omni as far as sizing? So the Echo, which is just an all-in-two, it doesn't have a pocket, it is just a little bit smaller in width, just a little bit more narrow. So you have a little bit more width on the Omni, especially for accommodating fitting a pocket in there. Let's talk about inserts because I'm really excited about the new one. This is the redesigned dry touch pod. The older version looked like this. So with the older version, and if you check out my Echo review, you'll hear me talk about it. When you snap it into the diaper, you then um, put it up on the baby and you have to fold the insert down. 
like that. That's how you kind of get the one size capability. And I kept saying, especially after I'd go to wash the diaper and this would plop in the toilet and splash up, gross, I really wish that there was a more sized insert. And this is what Soft Bums came up with. And I absolutely love this insert. Works for both of my kids. When my little one was a little bit smaller, it did take a little bit of folding. But I just want to um, compare the two. Uh, with one another. This is actually the same number of layers as when you double fold this. So let me talk about it. It is four layers of microfiber and it's topped with a micro, micro fleece. That way it has that stay dry feel. But it's that double absorbency that you're going to get so it's it's been a great pick in our house. This is by far the most loved insert by soft bum owners and this is the organic bamboo pod. This is made out of 70% organic bamboo and 30% organic cotton. It is so soft and it's remained soft, soft which I really like. It did take a tremendous amount of prepping before I was able to get it on, um, get it to where it was absorbent. And this is just like I was telling you with the other pods. You put it in the diaper and then you kind of fold this part under until you get the absorbency you want. I've already been begging soft bums to do something like the redesigned pod that's short in the bamboo. Hopefully they're working on it because that would be so great. The one issue that I had with this is that the insert curls, and I get this with any bamboo insert that I have with a diaper, it just curls a little bit and yeah, one of the survey respondents said to just kind of give it a pull and stretch it out before you put it in your drawer or put it in your basket, however you store your diapers. Now let's talk about the super pod. This one is for babies who are heavy wetters or babies who are going down for a nap time, night time, and what it's made out of is it has three layers of microfiber and then it's topped with that soft micro fleece. So again, it's a little bit more than the older model of just the stay dry inserts. Uh, but what happens is when you fold this in half, you get double the coverage. So then what you get is six layers of microfiber and two layers of micro fleece. So that's a pretty good option for this diaper to increase your absorbency. I personally found that I had much better luck with the bamboo. Um, it, it, this didn't perform as well as the bamboo, even though the bamboo had fewer layers and is more trim. So if you have a heavy wetter, I would probably try the bamboo first because it was very absorbent and trim. I've talked a little bit with you about the mini pods, but they don't like to share the spotlight, so I'm going to have them featured individually for you. This is the Dry Touch Mini Pod. So this has three layers of microfiber terry, and it's topped with that micro fleece that wicks the moisture away from the baby's bum. You can use this as a booster in your diaper, or this could be an in a newborn insert. Now let's talk about the organic bamboo. Again, this is the that this is organic fleece, it's three layers, and they are uh, about the same absorbency as the mini pod, supposedly, but more trim. I will say though, I've had a lot more luck with absorbency on this pod than this pod, in just my experience. I'm going to go ahead and put this diaper on Ducky here so that you can see how you can work it. So put this on, this is the O-Pod. So this is what I do with my smaller one. I've, I've had to, I fold the O-Pod over, which is nice because I get extra absorbency. And then I pull this and I find that if I just pull it, I don't need to touch the toggle. So if you're, if you're putting it on your baby and it's a bigger than what the diaper set on, you just pull it a little bit and put the diaper on just like that. Then it's nice to just give the legs a, a double check. Make sure that they're not too terribly tight or there aren't any gaps. See, this one's a little bit tight, so I just pulled it a little bit to loosen the elastic, and I get it like that. I also like to make sure that the pods aren't sticking out, especially in the back sometimes I would get the pod poking out the back. Anywhere the pods are, are coming out, that's where you would experience some issues with um, leaks. Now, this here, just tuck it in. I could have tucked it in before. Uh, it doesn't ever need to be out. I just was showing you. So there we go. Look how trim that is, and there's a happy ducky. When I was researching diapers for my newborn baby, I was looking for a one size diaper that could get really, really small. That way I didn't have to invest in newborn diapers and then one size diapers. And I found that this diaper could get really, really tiny. I've heard of people using it on their, their really small babies. Uh, mine was six and a half pounds. It did fit on him, but I experienced some leaks. And in retrospect, I wish I could go back and do everything all over again because I found out that my bamboo insert, there's a little newborn bamboo insert, 
I hadn't prepped it enough and so it was experiencing that was what was going on with the leaks so um, in retrospect I wish I would have done that but once I figured that out it was fantastic and I didn't have any issues at all but if you're gonna use this as a newborn diaper you would either put this insert in it or you could do the small mini pod that's just a regular mini pod that looks like this so that would go in the diaper instead so as you can see the um, bamboo is a little bit less bulky if I just compare them like that. See how much thicker the, this mini pod is. So, and also the bamboo is very absorbent. So this is definitely the way to go as far as a newborn insert. All right, now let's talk about the main findings of this diaper. The, the highest statistics were as far as whether or not you would recommend it to a friend. It was a whopping 99%, which is funny to me because it was recommended to me by a friend and that's how I got to know it. And I, I'm grateful for that. The diaper performed very well for naps. I would assume it's because you have a lot of adjusting with the insert options. And also fit. It performed very well with fit, which I would probably attribute to the internal toggle system with the elastic. It performed well for babies with skinny thighs. But it seemed like the statistics were pretty similar across the board as far as characteristics, with the exception of the rash-prone babies. It did perform lowest for rash-prone ba babies. And it also performed lowest as far as trimness and nighttime use. Let's go ahead and look at the stats on this diaper. How it performed for everyone overall? 91%. Heavy wetters? 92%. Chunky babies? 93%. Chunky thighed babies? 93%. Skinny babies? 92%. Babies with skinny thighs? 94% and rash prone babies 88%. As far as absorbency, it got a score of 91%, fit 95%, worth the price 90%, trim 81%, liked by skeptics 86%, a nap time diaper 96%, a night time diaper 86%, whether or not it would be recommended to a friend 99%. As far as the pros of the diaper, it got highest scores in fit, 93%, easy to use, 93%, and soft against the baby's skin, 93%. By far the biggest con of the diaper was that there are not enough colors or prints, that was 84%. Then just next in line, people commented on the fact that it was expensive. Um, that was 48%. This has been the Padded Tush Stats review of the Soft Buns Omni Diaper. You can find more statistics on this diaper as well as some comments from survey respondents over at paddedtushstats.com. And I want to thank all of you again for filling out the surveys for this diaper. And if, if there are other diapers that you could fill out surveys for, I hope you can head over to Padded Tush Stats. That way we can get as much feedback as possible to back up these reviews. So thanks again everybody. Thank you.